Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 3rd to the 9th of May 2021. I hope you well. Let's get straight into the reading Gemini and pull your overarching energy for the week. I'm using the tarot cards this week with an oracle card at the end. So this is the tarot grand lux. What do we have for Gemini, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for all of the Geminis. 3rd to the 9th of May, 2021. What is the overarching energy, please? Okay. Wow, the fool. We have the fool there, Gemini. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards and then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message, you know by now. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you, Gemini. Okay, message for Gemini, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Gemini, 3rd to the 9th of May, 2021. Wheel of Fortune in your challenge position. Three of Cups, Gemini, very nice energy. That's advice from Spirit. And your near future outcome, we have the Five of Cups. Okay. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Gemini, please. What do we have for Gemini? Can we clarify the cards on the table for Gemini? 3rd to the 9th of May, 2021, please. Ten of Wands. It doesn't surprise me with the Wheel of Fortune being in the challenge position, but the Ten of Wands is actually quite good in the challenge position because it means those ones are, are being put down. Okay, so the Three of Cups, we have the Four of Swords. And the Five of Cups, Gemini. Yay! <laughs> the Ace of Swords. And it's air energy, which is your energy. Yeah. Endings and beginnings, right? The death card. Mm -hmm. Okay. New chapter. There's a new chapter coming that you absolutely want to take a leap into. Um, this is about not overthinking something as well. This is about just going for it. Take that leap of faith. Take that chance because this path is meant for you. A, door, a major door is opening because this is major arcana. We underestimate the major arcana, but it is the big energy that we experience in our lives. Milestone energy. Um, energies that define our path, you know, and the fool is a new chapter for you. Um, so it definitely feels like there is a powerful new beginning opening up for you. It feels very beautiful, Gemini. Because things haven't been going in your favour. You know, the Wheel of Fortune in the challenge position can be things haven't been turning in your favour. You have struggled, you know, you know, to enjoy good luck, good fortune. Things going in your favour, it feels like they've gone against you, in fact. It might well be some kind of run of bad luck that you've been feeling. But the Wheel of Fortune still, still being even in the challenge position is saying things are going to change. It represents endings and cycles. As one door closes, another one opens. And it's divinely timed. Things happen when they're meant to happen. And for some of you, there is some kind of breakthrough coming this week. Yeah, that will allow you to put those burdens down, release them finally. You know, this is about burden, hard. It can be kind of hard work, putting your energy and time into something that is almost crippling you, you know. It definitely feels, you know, you feel this person's back is bent, you know. It feels a heavy load. Um, but his back is bent, it's not broken. So even in this situation, there is a completion coming your way. Uh, there is definitely an energy of this was something that was in your power to handle, even though it felt such a burden. Wheel of Fortune is very, very good in terms of money, career, finances in particular, but it can be about um, things opening up in terms of opportunity, in whatever context, expansion, growth. Uh, but it feels that you've been challenged, but finally it feels this week there will be a reason to finally put those ones down those ones are burdens down maybe break free of a difficult cycle because gemini 
the Four of Swords can be a card of recovery. Um, it feels to do with recovery because the Three of Cups is a celebratory energy. Uh, the winter is over, the spring is here. And these people are reaping the harvest after all their hard work and energy. You might have taken a little bit of patience here, but finally you are seeing the reward. You are seeing, you are getting good communication. You know, this can be a communication energy as well. Uh, but it definitely feels in this situation you are beginning to reap the harvest. Um, the, three, the Three of Cups can be about closure as well, which is interesting. Finally, allowing yourself to recover, close off a period and open up a new one. So it just feels very timely with the cards on the table. Yeah, the Five of Cups. Let's clarify this Five of Cups. And what's this Five of Cups for Gemini, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. What's this Five of Cups for Gemini, please? What's this Five of Cups for Gemini? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you. Yeah, your ruler. Love it. The Magician. So this can represent communication, news. Um, <laughs> yeah, but the Magician, when the Magician appears, it is just before you're ready to show the world what you're made of. Um, it's that moment of anticipation, you know, where you're about to reveal the magic act. And, you know, this is what I'm made of. This is what I can do. This is what I can create. And it, it, he has all the power of the four corners of the universe to manifest his heart's desire. What he focuses on, the one thing that he wants to change. So this is about you being the alchemist. You have the power to change the negative to the positive base metal to gold, an idea to reality. And, oh, I love the Im imagery. It's just coming to me there as well. The three cups that have been spilt on the floor that were empty, you are filling them up again. And that's what Spirit is telling you. You are filling them up again. There is recovery here. <gasps> Feels very lovely. So don't focus on the negative. Don't focus on what's gone. It is time to look forward and use your talents, resources, know how to manifest and turn something around because this week it seems that you have the ability to really transform your situation for the better and claim some kind of victory and a new path maybe over what has been a challenging situation again the ace of swords is cutting ties with something that no longer serves you it's the victory the clarity of the mind it can be ideas um the parting of the clouds, all of a sudden you're seeing the blue sky, that is the breakthrough. And it's it's being ready to manifest whatever you're focusing on now, because Spirit is telling you if you do, you will reap the harvest. You will fill those cups that were lost um, into something that will be rewarding, you know? By your energies, you have the power to transform that situation. So Gemini, the card of Scorpio, is a beautiful thing. I mean, it's, it's an ending. Some of you, there could have been an ending. There could have been endings and beginnings here. Um, this period of burden could have been an ending and not seeing a new beginning in sight. But there, this is about you emerging from one phase of your life to another now and shedding your old skin, what you don't need to focus on now because it's time to change that red, that black cloak to the red cloak. Uh, move from looking back, feeling down, regret. Could I have changed anything? Could anything have happened? You know, to focusing on the future and being inspired and creative and taking action and feeling energized and making something new happen. Uh, it's your period of, of coming into your own. There's definitely this energy of out with the old, in with the new. What's done is done. Now is time to cut cords and focus on that new path, the new beginning, because that is where the new reward is for you. So a powerful new chapter, a new beginning is opening up for you. I mean, yes, this could be in terms of love, romance, relationships. It could be in terms of money, career. It could be to do with friendships, family. I mean, call it what you will. 
but it feels for some of you there is an ending something has ended and something new is beginning and you are emerging from one phase of your life to another and the magician is saying now is the time to unfold that new path because you have the opportunity to really transform your situation for the better so it feels very beautiful I'm going to pull a final card and very promising So we have find balance, find the balance between work, rest and playtime <clears throat> and you will have more energy, harmony and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. <laughs> I'm going to pull you one more Gemini. <coughs> Sorry my voice is beginning to go. Okay. Yeah, you see life energy and I, I'm feeling the change in energy here. We have the happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. Um, I definitely get this energy of, yeah, I'm ready to, you know, ready to focus on how to transform my situation from looking back to looking forward and reaping, you know, the harvest of whatever this represents for you. It feels very beautiful, but it feels there's endings and beginnings here. I'm going to clarify this Three of Cups. <coughs> you see, it's mercurial energy as well. Can we clarify this Three of Cups, please? Yeah. Ten of Cups, the Rainbow of Blessings, the Happy Ever After, Blissful Relationships. It's also a card of productivity, the productivity paying off. Again, reaping the harvest energy that I'm getting. Not just for you, for you, but it could be for your relationship, your family, your home. It's not limited to that. It can just be for you yourself. And the Empress is, you know, this is about creation. Sowing new seeds. Um putting your energy into embracing new possibilities. She is the birth of something new in terms of love and um, also in terms of money. So those two areas are quite pivotal, I think, in terms of the Empress appearing. But she is a card of incoming abundance. Um, and that can be internal abundance, not feeling lack for anything. But it can also have a material aspect with the Empress in your external environment. So absolutely about sowing new seeds, reaping the reward. Um, there's definitely an energy of emerging here. Feels very, very beautiful indeed. And a new chapter. It feels a new chapter is emerging. And it's a victory over lost regret, looking back, mourning what's gone. Call it what you will. There is a new uplifting energy coming your way. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Gemini. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful... Uh, week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.